Welcome guys, welcome back to a video with your boy Dion. Um, in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, leveling out somebody's backyard and fixing the whole grid of it because whoever was there before me destroyed their whole backyard. All they had to do was brush cut, but they like tore up the whole ground and unleveled the whole ground for some odd reason. But today I'm gonna be taking the skid loader out of the dump trailer and uh, I'm gonna be um, getting grading the backyard. But little did I know, it just wasn't going to be that simple today, guys. Stay tuned. We're on and smooth it all out, and um, I'm going to be getting some fill, fill dirt to uh, level up that dirt out. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So stay tuned with me here. Um, go ahead and like, subscribe, show me some love, and, um, you know, let's do it, man. Sixteen. I'm about to take it off. I'm going to drop it off the customer's house. Right over here. So step one complete. Just dropped off the skid loader at the customer's house. Put it right in the driveway like they told me to yesterday. So now what I'm gonna be doing, I'm heading over to uh, Home Depot so I can get some uh, plywood so I can put them on top of the grass so I can protect the grass from getting all torn up. And uh, sadly, right now, the freaking dirt supply place isn't open until 8 o'clock, and it's only 6.17 right now, so. And it's open. Thank God for home people being open, y'all. So at least we can kill one of these things, get it done. But uh, here. Oh, I think we'll be taking this one. Here's the one right here. 13 bucks. See, what they don't tell you is, even when it's on this cart, it's still extremely heavy. All right, now that's finished. I'm gonna stop out of my house actually real quick, and I'm gonna pick up my two gas cans. I forgot my diesel gas cans, so I'll grab them real quick. And then I'm gonna head over to the, the dirt place, pick up the dirt, and then um, head back to the job and get it started, man. So stay tuned with me, man. Right, back at the cart client's house. I forgot to uh, videotape a little bit. I'm here, I just dumped all the dirt, let me show you. Close all these, uh, damn, left a little bit on here. It's whatever, but uh, yeah, I dumped the dirt over here, and uh, yeah, let me show y'all. See over there, that's the dirt right there we're gonna be using for the back. We go to the scale loader, and uh, dumped it right here, obviously. I, I forgot a little dirt right here, but uh, I cleaned that up in a little bit and close this up first. Oh, can you close it? Just swipe that off, I guess, and clean it up now. So, this is about four yards to dump. I mean, uh, fill dirt. So, what I gotta do is got a plywood I had to line it up going all the way down two plywood across so it could be wide enough for the wheels the tracks of the skid loader and let me show you guys what the job's looking like so you go all the way back here and uh let me show you guys how Oops. so the guy whoever left it last he was supposed to just it was like this over here this is the neighbor's yard but um, it was a bunch of brush. All he had to do was cut the brush. This guy didn't bring a brush cutter and he tried to cut the brush with just the bucket. So this is what he did. And now it's puddles and a mess. And it's a bowl. Little did I know, this guy only didn't leave a couple ruts and leave a couple puddles. He actually left it really, really worse, way worse than I ever expected. And you're about to see here what goes on. Work that I gotta do here, but I'm gonna get it done. And uh, just wanted to show you guys. What it looks like now so we can get it before and after but yes yeah, it's, it's real bad all he had to do is cut the brush i don't know why he dug down and obviously he tracked up everything he didn't even grade anything after he tracked it which is crazy but uh and he built this this mound in the back for some odd reason he took the dirt that he dug up and just put it back there so i had to push that back up and then i gotta use the dirt in the front and uh put it on top and fix this whole project because they put inside here they're getting the, a fence put in and uh they can't do it when it's like this so stay tuned with me i'll show you guys this whole process now, i gotta actually take all these pieces of plywood off of here and uh line them up on the grass it's gonna be some work at 16 of them plywood is not necessarily light it's not too heavy but it's not too light but i'm, I'm definitely gonna wear some gloves because i'm not trying to get splinters but 
that's the next task. So I ended up noticing that I couldn't do two all the way down. So I ended up after a certain extent, like the places where I didn't really have to turn, I just put one plywood down just so it can protect the grass a little bit. But um, it ended up being fine at the end of the day. But yeah, next time that's like something I got to realize that I'm going to need probably double of what I got there. But uh, yeah. All right, so I made this pathway all from the front. Okay, ended right here. So it was just enough, I guess. But I'm about to start working, guys. I'm about to throw you on the uh, tripod. Start getting this done. Push that in first. Then I'm bring the dirt back in and, you know, do what I got to do. So stay tuned. All right, you guys are going to see me get in here. And I'm going to start going to work right here. And it was going super smoothly. It started coming out really well. I was moving the dirt around. I was smoothing it all out, grating it all down. I was first keeping on that mound first. And then, you know, I was going to get the dirt from the front. But then, as you can see here, as I'm getting through the last grade before I go get the dirt from the front, I'm stuck. Houston, we have a problem. I got stuck. I'm gonna have to get the truck and pull it out, sadly. But only if I realized that it just wasn't going to be that simple. The truck couldn't even reach that far and the chains that I had wasn't reaching that far either. This was the beginning of the downfall of this whole entire job. Oh my goodness, this is a headache. It's so, 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 so wet. Like, oh my goodness, this is like, like almost like quicksand. I was, put one down right here and it's obviously drying it up. So let me see if I can walk on it. Even then, still kind of, I mean, it's, it's working though. So, just gotta put some dirt over there, I guess. Put some dirt over there. This should have been a red flag right here for me when I, I put the dry dirt on top of the, the wet dirt and it kind of dried it out a little bit, but still even under it, it was still wet and my foot sunk into the dirt. Front, oh, I'll put some more dirt over here, so. I gotta fill up that spot. But I was grading it down, it looks a lot better than it did, but it's just so wet, clearly. Look at my freaking tracks, completely buried. As you can see, I was getting a little frustrated here, but this was the lightest of my frustrations. Uh, the little that I know for the next two hours, I was going to be sitting here trying to dig out a skate loader. All right, well, I'll get back to y'all in a little bit. I didn't really videotape us doing this because it was just the process of us really trying to get this skill loader out. It took us so long. We tried so many different methods and it just was annoying, guys. So this is just me showing you how bad it really was after we got it dug out a little bit. We have some plywood here. We have the ramps that I have. We have everything trying to get this machine out. The best way to describe this type of mud and swampland was like, it was like soup or it was really, really, really mushy. There's nothing more you can describe it like, and like, it was just annoying. And the customer ended up not even wanting to get the job done because they realized this is wetland and we can't do anything with this unless we brought in about 20 tons of dirt, some crushed stone, and there's just a lot more money that had to be put into this. And they decided because of the first guy who jacked up yard, plus now my skater loader getting stuck, they wanted to just get call it quits. In the end, we actually did get the skill loader out. It took us a long time. The homeowners were helping me. They put on their boots. They came out there and they got this. They helped me get the skill loader out. I'm very grateful and thankful for that. And even the homeowner, even though the homeowners didn't even want to get the job done any longer, they decided to still pay me in full because I did come out and I did try my best. And like they realized that my skill loader was stuck. I mean, I'm very grateful for them and thankful that they gave me this job and ended up still paying me because in situations like this, homeowners usually don't want to pay you any more money, which is fine. I mean, it makes sense you didn't finish the job, but yeah. Yeah, and they just didn't even want me to bring the skill or near this abyss, near this pit of mud or whatever quicksand, whatever you want to call it, because they did not want to go through that headache again of getting it stuck and having to get it out. So that's why they wanted to call it quits. And the last guy kind of got over on them too. Like that was, both of those factors were just playing a big role in this whole situation. All right, guys, so I have a little more energy now. And what I mean right here about me having more energy because us kicking that skill loader out really drained all of my energy, all the way down, depleted it because we were trying this, trying that, had to dig more, had to do this. It was just a lot that we had to do just to get this thing out. Um, so what happened is I'm just dumping with the skill loader, the bucket's right there, then I'm shoveling it because it's just too soft for me to even get close with the skill loader. It's just sinking right in. I tried to dump one over there at first and get close and grid it. It's just sinking right in. Look at it, it's just like 
puddly and can't do anything about it. It's just kind of like a wetland. Whoever did this last is really the reason why it looks like this because if you can see on the neighbor's side, because they still they have the brush growing up, it's dry, but he dug under, so he dug up the water and uh, he pretty much destroyed this backyard completely. The only way you could possibly fix this, and the customer said he didn't really want to do it, is by bringing in um, some modified crushed, modified crushed stone. Sorry about that, guys. I'm a little tired. But uh, bringing in the modified crushed stone. But uh, he said since like he's already put uh, my, this money in for me doing this, plus the guy that jacked up the whole yard, he said that he just he's he must rather just finish this project where it's at because it's just costing him more and more money. I mean, it's really uh, mainly because that guy did what he did. He really did jack up this this yard. All because all he was uh, conference did to do was to trim down all the the um the brush but he didn't want to bring a brush cutter he decided to do with his bucket so that's what you get you know um and this is actually better than it looked before actually i graded down a couple of times but before i got stuck i mean as you can see in that uh time lapse but um yeah let me get back to it i'll show you guys the finished product he only wants me to make sure there's uh like enough dirt for like this edge part because he said that he's not even going to go that far back with his fence anymore and he's not even going to put side or anything back there he's just going to cut it right here and have his fence go right here since it's so wet over there it's so soggy and muddy but i like to say thank you to the customers because they really did help me out like they were out here working hard when they put their boots on and um i'm just blessed that they were here honestly because i would have never got my skid loader out they both helped his um, him and his wife um and we got it out. It took a while. It took about two hours, but yeah, that's what it is, man. But uh, I'll get back to you guys when I get back to the studio for uh, a proper outro. But yeah, this is the story of this disastrous job, man. Peace. All right, guys. So that's pretty much going to conclude the whole video. That's the whole bit story and video of how the whole project and the whole job went south very, very quick. And how this all went down and uh, how the problem was pretty much solved and what the customer decided to do. Um, I was definitely still willing to work and I was willing to bring in more crushed stone, but the customer didn't want to pay for more, which is understandable because they did pay that other guy a good, um, pretty big hefty amount. Um, I'm I'm very grateful and thankful for the customer uh, for helping me out getting my skillet out. Him and his wife, they're out there. They put the, the uh, rain boots on and they're out in that abyss. Like I'm telling you, when you took one step, like you're going shin deep all the way down into the mud, but they were out there helping me get it out. And I'm just greatly appreciative. And the um, husband was very, very um, like caring for my machine. And he understood that it's a very expensive machine. And like, he made sure there was no dirt getting in the back when we were getting it out. And I'm just greatly, very, 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 very thankful for them. Also, they gave me the full payment, which is very unheard of. And I'm very thankful for that. But um, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and like, subscribe, show your boys some love. Also, don't forget to repent and uh, keep God in your life and just always accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, guys. So with that being said, that's going to be everything. That's going to wrap this video, y'all. Peace out.